SupportCityCoin.com The Americans adore a television program in which the aliens, a Kang, and Kodos, if memory serves, subdue the Earth with slingshots because the humans have so thoroughly neutered themselves of weaponry. Is this, in a sense, what has unfolded <clears throat> yet again in the now damaged offices of Virginia Beach's monopoly government? For such reports as I have ingested show an arsenal on the part of this bureaucrat, a gunman, not so impressive at the scene. Apparently, not very much weaponry is required to riddle the defanged with cavities and in numbers large enough to call them a massacre or the outpourings of it. And even on that question, we may not avail ourselves of the microscopic satisfaction which would result from knowing the precise level of gun liberty or restriction which existed at the sight of the horrible crime. For well, this critical question is gone, as it almost always does, unasked by the prostitute media. A start paging of ten minutes length re reveals only a Breitbart report which asserts that the environs may have suffered from a firearms forbiddance and in any instance we know the many though not unlimited obstacles which afflict the Virginia resident wishing to protect themselves and their own by the most appropriate and effective tools. How many of these body bag fests would have been mere shootouts had it been otherwise? And why is it so knee-jerkerous that the instrument of the destruction be made the key focus rather than the lamentable profession so often taxpayer funded of the murderous foe if it took years for the deranged mail carrying gunmen to affix the word postal to our vocabularizings and acquire it with such a new and sinister uh, significance Perhaps it will also be so with the phrase going bureaucratical. How many, or should we say how few, of these gunnings en masse are inflicted by citizens, untainted by experience in an armed force of government origin or in its employ or under its supervision? sometimes involuntary. Where is the human cry for restrictions upon bureaucraticals and their ability to restrict legitimate defensives even by their own kind which is not our kind? How many more asks one authoritarian who worries he has too much freedom. The answer is perhaps several per year of this size or larger and for an indefinite period until uh, all the locales in these uneasily united states cast aside their fixation upon collective punishment and restriction of counter-effective legal solutions to what are uh, perhaps better described as physical or mental 
problems, lamentations sometimes with a medicinal, a medicinal source itself rooted in the cartels of gross pharma. Yet another interro interrogatory unasked in the stampede against neutral, potentially murder-thwarting mechanisms which may be held by the waste, not imagined in edicts or minutes away while seconds matter. Rare coins, pawns, gold and silver bullion. Check out Port City Coin in Portsmouth, New Hampshire for your precious metal needs. A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau, happy to do a cash transaction. Why buy your medals from one of those slave state mints when you can support the free state economy? Visit PortCityCoin.com, or as I like to call it, PortCityCoin.com.